Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ultimate General Gettysburg. This is your host, the Finers, and uh, we have a choice again here to make. Uh, should we secure our flanks or reinforce and prepare to defend our positions? Now I look at these two pictures here and... Uh, yeah, I, I think we are gonna opt for the secure our flanks because, yeah, <coughs> hopefully it will give the AI some more precise place, but perhaps we should do this then, I don't know. I, I'm really torn which strategy we would take. I like both of them. Reinforce and prepare to defend or secure. Let's try to secure our flanks, let's try to drive you all out. Let's read what it says here. General, right flank is under pressure from the rebels and we are expecting a significant attack to test us. Holding our flanks, flanks are crucial to preventing the center from collapsing. Uh, I'm already struggling with my words. Uh, <coughs> in particular, our right flank is staving off confederate reinforcements coming to attack us from the north. We can ill afford losing our flanks to the enemy. Securing those flanks could cause the enemy to divert their attacks to where we are better prepared. Will you hold our flanks, General? Yes, I will. So let's play. Press continue and look what we got here. So this is a smaller case, a uh, smaller scale uh, battle than the other one would have been. So Johnson tests the Union right flank. Let's see. Sir, Johnson approaches from Benner's Hill to flank us at Culp's Hill. We need to hold him off. 11th Corps and elements of 1st Corps are in the area and ready to respond, but we need to act quickly. Reinforcements will arrive from the south to aid you. We need to hold against them, or they'll see a weak point and pressure us even further. Our right flank must hold fast, if we want the center to remain secure. Good luck, General. So we, at the moment, outnumber the enemy and it seems that we will outnumber them uh, later on when we get the reinforcements as well, so... Yeah, let's just dive in and see if we can push Mr. Johnson away. Now let's just let this thing run. A lot of to move Cutler behind a bit. Oh, we have Iron Brigade here as well. So yeah, Iron Brigade there, aims there. It seems that we have some artillery on this flank over here. It's quite dark. It's the late in the evening, it seems. So yeah, move Kane ahead a bit. And let's see if we can... What's this place called? It's Wolf's Hill. Wolf's Hill. I think we're gonna move you there. Okay, something's going on here. Our troops are... Yeah, there are two packed. So they're redeploying a bit. We move... Is it Lockwood? I think we are moving. Or do you get it? I can't really tell at the moment. But they're really moving troops to our flank here, where the 12th Corps, it seems. It said 11, 11th Corps, I think, in the uh, descriptions. Okay, we, we move Cutler to this hole here, and aims down there to the south. And let's see here. We have this very depleted brigade, small brigade of Kane here, which we, I think will maneuver to this stone wall over here. Let's see if we can actually see better from this position. So they are already taken Wolf's Hill. Oh, Ruger went past the wall there. So they have secured Wolf Seal now. So yeah, now they're really moving in. Hopefully we'll get some reinforcements quickly. So that we can... Uh, we can push the Wolf Seal and try to capture it. Aims here, is able to able to uh, move in the position to take Nicole's regiment there. 
So yeah, they can see us from Wolves Hill quite effectively. They have put some artillery there. We might might have to tease his uh, right flank with Ames's brigade. So General Stannard has arrived with his brigade, I think. We have good cover here. Oh, look at that force! That is quite a lot of men coming in. Okay, I think we're gonna have to <laughs> withdraw from withdraw from this position. Let's try to take that hill over there. Oh god! Oh god! That's not good at all. And here comes Gordon. Come on, cannons! Move! Move! Quickly now! Quickly! Hold them! Hold them! Oh, we need to fall back. No, they charged the position. Oh, Vinegar was overrun. That's simply the way it is. We need to move Stanand quickly down there. And actually, I think we'll also move green. Iron, Iron Brigade is enough to hold that flank, I'm sure of that. They can hold that. It's really, really dark. We can't see anything. At least on my screen. Uh, but then again, I have really uh, bad monitor. It, it's not actually a monitor, it's a TV that I'm using as a computer screen, so... Uh, It's not really good to uh, when when there's any darker sequences in in movies or in games or in anything. You can't really see. Can't see nothing. Okay, Ruga, fall back towards the top of the hill. Uh, let's try to maneuver you um, to here. I think we need to make you run. I would really like to get some artillery on this position here. That's perhaps later. Perhaps later indeed. bit further down. Actually, green is gonna be our reinforcement. Reinforcement. Stannard will take position here and hold this flank. And Kane can't see shit. Hopefully, hopefully we can maneuver him on on this hill and he can there observe the ground. Oh, Lockwood broke. He was. He was in a bad position there, granted. Hopefully he will not run completely. Can't she shit, Captain? Can't she shit? It's getting so dark, I think. That, that is the reason we cannot really see anything. As you can see, it's 20.51. So it's really late. We're losing daylight quickly. So yeah, you go to Henry Spangler. But because it's so late, they don't really have that much time. I was really hoping, and I thought that we have more time to uh, fight. I thought it, it wouldn't be so late when this started, because I don't think it was that late when when we stopped the last engagement. But, um, yeah. Now they have secured Wolf's Hill. And that was something that I was supposed to do. So that's not really good, is it? Kane is in, is in a good position here. They, can ha they have a large arc of fire. They can shoot. shoot uh, very far from that hill. 
Let's try to move Lockwood to tease the flank here. Yeah, green there in support. If anything would happen to our main line over here, in Culp's Hill. Now we have to wait for. Let's run. Run the troops. Double quick, men. Double quick. Oh, the rebels are advancing. We need to be there for you soon. Luckily, we have reinforcements. Come on, Lockwood. Get to the river. Get to the river. Advance, advance. Hurrah! General Ares, Ares comes with his strong, sir. Now we have the numbers to repel the re repel the rebels. Yes, that's it. Oh, they are coming from here. Perhaps we have enough time to move in here. Perhaps, just perhaps. But Yul is pushing. Yul is pushing forward. He has a lot of artillery supporting him. Oh, I wish you were faster. Well, I think the ground is, is difficult to maneuver. A lot of enemies there. That's why we need this um, third division of second corps to advance to the flank of the rebels. Shoot at them, why won't you? I know we can't really see them properly, but uh, fire blindly into the forest. We are bound to kill someone, uh, right? Oh, look at that! They have brought artillery to uh, to south. Now they run into our reinforcements. Oh, look at that! We annihilated, annihilated them. Yeah, now it's getting really dark. Roads has come to uh Ooh. Oh god, oh oh shit. They had for uh, infantry there. Now we need to run, sirs, we need to run. No time to delay. Push them! Push them! Double quick, men! Double quick! It's Gordon! Gordon's brigade! It's a really messy situation here. Really messy. But luckily, Gibraltar brigade is coming the flank. Oh yeah, you, as you can see Burbank already uh, was driven back. I think we're gonna lose lose them because they're so close to the edge. Yeah, they're they're off the edge. Avery and Gordon. It's only position there. So yeah, this, this didn't go as planned. Oh, weed has broken. Oh, uh, this division, this second division of the fifth corps, was was really surprised by the rebels. They got the better of them. They drove the whole division, almost the whole division away. The enemy, the rebel and rebels, have taken strong uh, position here. I think we're gonna keep Kane in, in there as a reserve. I think we're gonna move Lockwood forward as well. We are holding Culp's Hill, so that's good. Oh, the battle's about to end. It's gonna end! Ah, uh, we have 
Well, let's make, let's see how long have we recorded. Well, it's been 15 minutes. So yeah. Ah, oh, we took a lot of, lot of um, losses, unnecessary losses. And they secured Wolf Hill. <sighs> Damn. They really got the best of us there. I was too slow. Couldn't move. I had high plans, uh, high hopes, and big plans. Um, to push them away from our right flank, and then we could have uh, uh, could have reinforced our center. Uh, but um, that's not the case here. Now they actually took a foothold, a stronger foothold to our right. That's bad. That's bad. But oh, oh well. Perhaps that will lead to some interesting developments in the further stages in the third of July. Perhaps they will try to sweep around our right flank and in uh, encircle us in, in that way, turn the whole Union army. Yeah, well, I, I think I'm gonna stop it here because uh, I don't know I, and I suspect that the next uh, engagement will drag on quite a, quite a far, so this would become a really long episode. Uh, so I'm gonna call it an episode here and thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we will uh, be more successful in our endeavors in the next one. So this has been the finals. We have been playing Ultimate General Jettysburg as, as the Union troops. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!